Individuals at risk are often people who are targeted simply because they stand up for what they believe in. Right around the world, courageous people take action to defend human rights, their own human rights, the rights of people in their communities, but they pay a price. Powers that be feel threatened and they take action to try to silence their voice. That may mean they are receiving death threats. That may mean that they have been attacked, raped. People are thrown in prison. People are killed. You've been arrested and you go missing for a long time. And by the time we see you again, you have injuries all over the body. You've been beaten. That's if you are lucky to survive. The Individuals at Risk program is our way of taking action on their behalf. Telling authorities in those countries, uh, lay off. Uh, this person is a human rights champion whose freedom matters, whose safety matters. The world is watching. For me, it was a sense of, like, I wasn't alone, you know. There were a lot of people who knew about this, who were supporting us. So it, was, it was a nice feeling, knowing that other people care. It conveys a very important message that you do not stand alone. They do such great work, and I felt that power, and I felt as if I'm the whole of Amnesty. You know, I could, I could feel I'm bigger than the police who are out there with their guns, and I felt strong. We offer our members and, and the public the opportunity to write to heads of state, whoever's in a position to actually take action and make a difference. Even notorious governments that may show complete disregard for human rights do care what the world thinks. Just the fact that there's world attention can and does often make a difference. Thanks to the actions of Amnesty International members, many, many people have been released from prison, saved from torture, protected from death threats. I think that if Amnesty International do not do what they have been doing, I'm not here today. And many other people would not be free. There's always an urgency to doing human rights work. Because any time that anyone in the world is suffering, it's urgent for us to take action to end that suffering. We need the activists. We also need financial assistance. We do not take money from governments because we must remain independent of them. So donations are our lifeblood. You can click onto our website right now. Look for the case that's being featured this month. Add your voice, your name, to the many thousands of others across Canada and around the world saying, I believe in human rights and I demand that you take action to protect human rights. And that's how you can make a difference.